Hello and welcome to yet another video of Android programming. In this video we are going to make the phone vibrate when you press a button. And we are also going to make it display a text. So we will need to do two things. We will need to allow a certain permission. Without permissions you won't be able to use the internet on the application or for example make it vibrate. So we need to add a permission for vibrate. And a toast is an object that we are going to create when we want to display a certain text. So let's get... I would like you to set up a project where the application registers a click on a button, as we have done many times before. So go ahead and do that and we will continue from there. After you have created a project with a button, go ahead and enter the android manifest.xml file. This is the file where we will edit our permissions. So go ahead and go into the permissions tab and click on add. Then go down to user's permission. And let's get down here for android permission dot vibrate. There we go. If you wouldn't get use this permission, we wouldn't be able to make the phone vibrate. So when we have done that, we are going to create an object called vibrate. We are going to create a, an object called vibrator and we're going to name it V. This is the object which will make our phone be able to vibrate. Go ahead and import the vibrator object also bit by holding here and select import vibrator. After our or inside our onCreate method we are going to initialize our Vibrator. So we're going to set V and set it to get system service. Get system service. Context dot dot vibrator service. And we're going to make it so when we click on our yeah, get system service. Sorry about that. So when we click on our button, we are going to set Y dot vibrate. And inside here, it has been how many milliseconds? We are going to make it vibrate for one second, so it has been 1000. Sorry, we need to do this first, vibrator. We are also going to make something called a toast, which is the object that will display our text. We are going to create our method our message by taking toast dot make text and then get application context the text is going to be our text we're going to, to type in hello and the duration is once again in milliseconds so we're going to set it at to the same time as our vibrate one second also if we want to make it display itself we have to Type this dot show. There we go. Now we are going to try and run our application. Here we go. Let's try and click the button. As you can see, it works. It displays hello. Because I'm using an emulator on the computer, we can't vibrate it, of course. But I'm going to try and plug in my own phone and see if it works. Just give me a second. I'm now going to try it. Hopefully you will be able to hear the vibration from my phone. 3, 2, 1. That was all for this video. You learned how to use some permissions and make a text as well as making the phone vibrate. If you liked the videos, please leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. Once again, thank you for watching. Bye bye. I have also updated Eclipse to the latest version, so I'm I'm most likely going to redo the second tutorial where I show how to navigate around Eclipse just a little bit to not confuse you.